New treatment court and diversion programs will begin with the Ho-Chunk Nation and also in Door, Shawano, and Lafayette counties. Rose Schmidt explains how OWI offenders in Lafayette County will benefit, Rose. Yeah, Lafayette County leaders point to research showing that the best way to keep people from repeatedly driving drunk in Wisconsin isn't to keep them in prison longer, but instead give them an alternative to learn how to lead a sober life. We have significant alcohol and, and drug issues in Lafayette County. It's an unfortunate reality Judge Dwayne Jorgensen sees from his bench in Lafayette County Circuit Court. Uh, it doesn't make us unique. I think that's the case uh, all the way across the state of Wisconsin. But there's a new school of thought about how to help people through addictions. Primarily, first thing you want to address is try to stop the use. Uh, try to stop them from getting behind the wheel, also address the issues that may be behind uh, that. A state grant of more than $118,000 will help give Lafayette County leaders the funding they need to start an OWI court, which will provide an alternative to incarceration for repeat OWI offenders. We have not seen where putting people in jail over and over has really made a big difference in them. Sheriff Reg Gill is hoping learning to maintain sobriety will help them lead better lives. You know, when we start seeing uh, third, fourth, fifth, sixth offense, obviously it, it, they're not making a change. So hopefully maybe with through a use of a program like this that we can make a change in their life. There are still some details to iron out, but the OWI court will take about 10 offenders at a time. The go to weekly treatment and behavioral therapy, as well as subject them to random drug testing. It's easy to, for them to be uh, alcohol free while they're locked up in jail, but the minute they get back out, they tend to, to go back to their same lifestyle. Several nearby counties, including Iowa, Grant, and Dane, have these courts. And starting in July 2020, Lafayette County residents will be given that same chance. This is research and evidence based so we know that it, this approach works. This treatment program likely would not be targeted at first or second time offenders. It'll take about 18 months to complete and the grant money will pay for a new staff member and breathalyzer and drug testing. All right, Rose, thank you.